speaker is Rachel Bessis from Swarovski Australia. Rachel is the head of Market Development Australia and New Zealand, New Australia and New Zealand, and is responsible for Swarovski's sustained revenue development through multi-channel distribution strategy, site acquisition, lease negotiations, property portfolio management, licensee acquisition, coaching and onboarding. Indeed, a very busy and big job. Prior to her five years plus at Swarovski, Rachel founded and led a successful European eyewear distribution company across Australia and New Zealand markets for 10 years. Seven years ago, Rachel also brought the global phenomenon Le Dinner de Blanc to Sydney. This event has become the largest pop-up dining event in Australia and the third largest globally. Rachel is an early adopter and one of the first customers taking the leading edge using Accurate. She has been testing and providing valuable feedback to improve and enhance the system's capabilities. Please welcome Rachel. Thank you Petra and good morning everybody. Thanks for having me. As you heard from Petra, I've been at Swarovski for five and a half, year, half years uh, in the market development function. Prior to that, we didn't have a function uh, like this, um, but it was uh, realised that uh, with the market rationalising, with the rise of online, um, that there needed to be a function that looked after uh, the business a little bit more holistically from a, 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 a location perspective all the way through to how the consumer receives at the end. Swarovski, I'll give you a little insight into Swarovski. It's one of the oldest company, uh, privately owned um, retail companies in the world. It was founded in 1895 by Daniel Swarovski, who actually invented the machine that cuts crystal jewellery. So innovation has always been at the heart uh, and technology has always been at the heart of our business. Uh, and we like to think that we continue this across the board uh, in all areas of our business. Australia was one of the first markets uh, for Swarovski to open a boutique, which was in Sydney's Centrepoint Tower back in the 1980s, and now we have over 70 uh, locations across Australia and New Zealand. My role uh, as the Head of Market Development leads the four functional pillars, which uh, Simon mentioned, uh, which is unusual. A lot of companies just have a property function, or they have a distribution function, or they have a store delivery team. All of those uh, coincide within the one team. We believe it's a holistic um, way of managing um, the growth in a business and how we reach the consumer. Lease Info's databases we've been using uh, since 2009. Uh, we started with My Portfolio. We use it to benchmark uh, our network against the broader retail network of Australia and it has really enabled us to be able to um, go forth in this new market, this new world, this new consumer world in a sustained way and still be able to continue to grow. Um, you may know that retail leases have suffered, uh, retail in general has suffered great loss recently with lots of businesses closing. This has happened globally, this is just a natural rationalisation of the market. But the only way to continue was to work out how to um, still be profitable in today's uh, market. And one of the things that we noted, you've got two big costs, you've got people and you've got rent. And uh, people, uh, with the Swarovski model for example, everything's behind glass. So in order to create an experience that is um, different to online, where you can have that human connection, you can be styled, you can, you can uh, the experience is, is a much more real experience. I think everyone today still wants to have that. Um, we need to have people on the floor and to cut that back just reduces the experience. And we noticed that in our retail KPIs is that conversion went down as we tried to control um, human resources costs. Um, the whole uh, experience went down, how we displayed the product, the entire thing. Uh, and so we realised we had to hack away at leases and this is something I've been working on. Simon was fantastic in helping me to, to build um, up my skill base to do this and we've, and we've been able to hack at our portfolio quite significantly with some of the very large landlords in order to put us back into, uh, uh, I guess, an occupancy cost that we're comfortable with and that we know that we can continue to grow uh, in a sustained, measured way uh, to reach the consumers that want to deal with us today. One of the things is about um, being able to do these types of port big portfolio reviews on a big scale is to have data at your fingertips. 
and uh, having to pull that data together takes a long time, it takes a lot of resources. You need the competence in to know what to look for in the data. Um, and uh, one of the beautiful things about Accurate is that you can pull all that up at a fingertip. Um, it's made my job very, very uh, much more streamlined and efficient. It's enabled my team to get across um, this information quickly and pull it up. Um, so it's a good learning tool for them, as well as being able to pull up that data at, at, at um, lightning speed. The other topic is, is, uh, is risk um, and a lot of the time this is something that we've dealt with um, uh, with uh, implementing global heads of terms. So as a global organisation trying to have some mandatory terms that we operate with across uh, all the markets and every market's different. Um, but one of the things there is being able to measure that and quite often if you're processing a high volume of leases. Um, it's difficult to stick to those terms sometimes. Things get lost or missed, uh, etc. And this is the, the global search function that uh, Simon talks about. The beauty of not being able to pull out all of the, the files and have to look up um, all the paperwork is that um, with Accurate, we can just backlink to find any of the information that, that we need at our fingertips. The other topic is too, is that it links into my portfolio, which is where all the portfolio, where the portfolio of the leases lives. And again, it's reducing human error and creating an audit trail, which as Simon mentioned with IFRS, uh, finance is all over that and wants to hear a lot about it all the time. We estimate that um, using Accurate, it saves us about 30 minutes uh, a month on every lease. So if we've got 72 leases currently, that's about 36 hours a month we think we're saving. That's 432 hours a year and in excess of 2,000 hours for the average five year lease term. Apart from that being a massive time saving, um, it's the efficiency and, and the ability really to be able to challenge the status quo around that giant cost base that you have in your business and the risk that is attached to that. The second major benefit uh, of Accurate is the way it manages the parent-child relationship uh, of the leases and all the sub-documents. Um, the more complex the lease uh, negotiations get, the more documents that there tend to be. Um, You've got your disclosure statements, your variations, your subleases, transfers, etc. And what Accurate does is it links all those together for you in all of its iterations and you can track everything. One of the most exciting applications of Accurate, which I, I keep reminding Simon is, was my idea. <laughs> when we get in a room together, we tend to have lots of ideas and unfortunately it just keeps uh, evolving and evolving. It's like, let's just catch up to where we're up to. Um, is this global search, document search capability. And as you can see in the attached screenshot, Accurate can index every clause in our lease portfolio and pull out and tag clauses. For example, air conditioning, bank guarantees, all sorts of things. We also use this search capability for due diligence, uh, for leases that are under negotiation, to compare against, as I mentioned before, these mandatory requirements. Accurate, accurate can hi will highlight the variances between these mandatory requirements, which as a result, um, in a global organisation, it means that you don't have to um, have a huge team um, of really highly competent people to be able to manage um, on a certain level the, the administration of these leases and you can keep it in house. I truly believe that Accurate is a really powerful tool for data lease extraction and management. And Swarovski being a global company that continuously um, seeks to have uh, improvements in technology and, and, and human capital. To us, this technology is not about replacing jobs. It's just making, it, um, it's just making me and my team more efficient and being able to share best practice globally and have everyone in every market performing on the same level. And this is where I think um, maybe, maybe at some point we can get it across the line with the board <laughs> as Rolski in Europe is to, is to implement this and I think we've had our first meeting with finance trying to tackle that so hopefully we can, we can, help, we can help you. Uh, thanks so much for your time today guys and have a sparkling day as we say in our organisation. <laughs> Thank you.